you know, imagine if we weren't actually told reasons for what they are trying to get us to do. To stay six feet, six feet apart, to not gather in groups more than six, 10, 50, whatever, wear a mask. If we didn't have any of the reasoning and the buildup, everyone would think that's insane. Right, to try to limit us like that, to take away fundamental human rights, to threaten us with force if we don't go along with it. It's insane. And yet, if they have a, a series of reasons and they build up to the point where they do it, humans just seem to go along with it. And this is to me, very, very strange. I don't understand it. I don't know why people are so easily duped, why people so easily give in to the mass media repetition of horseshit. And so the deeper question is, is, is there design behind this? You know, is, is, are things just happening, happenstance, random chaos? Or is there a deeper design by groups of people that are looking to create a more police state upon us? And from what I gather, most people do not believe in conspiracy. They don't want to accept or admit that there is something more sinister occurring and they just want to live their life. Just live their life. Not think about things like that. Go along with the party line. Don't rock the boat. And those people are the greatest hindrance to true freedom for us all. They protect the freaking nutballs. They protect the ones that are behind the scenes through their ignorance and through their goodness. There's so many nice, beautiful people that defend the freaking nutballs without even knowing that they're doing it. And they go along with the stories that are perpetuated by a pack of liars through their incessant media pounding. And I know you don't want to hear it, and I know if you never do anything about it, you don't want to hear it even more. Nobody wants to feel duped. Nobody wants to feel as if they're not participating and contributing to the larger goodness. So there's a great divide happening on the planet right now between those kind of in the know and those not in the know. Those who are asleep and those who are awake. And the people who are asleep some of them are so intelligent, beautiful people, amazing people. But they just don't want to reconsider their comfort zone. They grew up in it. They've always been in it. And they don't want to leave it. And real growth can only happen when you leave your comfort zone. So. I don't know if this message is to the people that are asleep to try to wake you up or this message to the people that are awake. So you can send to the people that are asleep and see what they say. Because everyone has to start to assess what is occurring with new eyes and start to look at a, a, a future that we design rather than the government or corporate interests plan. To do so, we need to self-organize, we need to have tools, we need to have a general plan towards where we're going and what we're gonna do together. And that is what I propose is the very secret plan. I propose, I have a plan for the whole species to follow, to move into a love-based <clears throat> paradigm. It takes paying attention to, it takes deciding to participate and it takes a leap of faith. 
that it's not a scam, that I'm not full of shit. But that's up for you to decide because human beings have critical minds and they don't want to allow that certain human beings may actually have an answer. So now you know, if you want to participate, <clears throat> just give me a holler. <laughs>